how to create a membership website on Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a membership website within a Shopify store of yours with only one app called AppSol. So we are going to head over our Shopify store, then we are going to sign in into our account. And from here, we are going to see the admin dashboard of our account. Basically, we are going to click on the search bar and type in app stall. Just app stall, I think, like this. So we are going to double the fee and we are going to have the subscription app. We have tons of subscriptions and tons of uh, apps that we can use, but here it is going to be the memberships. I apologize for the error. It is going to be app stall membership. So we're going to type in, uh, for example, memberships, and we're going to search for the uh, app. We're going to find it in here. So we are going to see app stall memberships. Then we are going basically here to install the app. We are going to have it in here. It is going to be a, a bashed up app with the built for Shopify badge. As you can see, it has a free plan or a, a free trial available, not a free plan, but it is going to be basically free to install. So this is the free to install and this is the free plan. We have 25 members, membership management and membership perks and etc. We have also a member portal and we can set up the auto billing. Now we are going to install the app real quick. It is, uh, this is the installation of the app and then we are going to start setting it up. As you can see here, we have the app installed. We're going to pin it to our navigation real quick. And then we are going to see it in here. Basically, if you are going to put the billing in here, we are going to have the available plans. As you can see, we have a plan available and I assure you that you have it. I'm going to click or select the free plan. So I'm going to give you here a demonstration. You can get to know or see all the premium features for the paid plan within the, uh, with the, the app, but uh, I'm going to show that later. So we are going to exit that. Now we, we need to set up the widget because we're here to put it, we need to update the payment getaway. So it is going to use the Shopify subscription API and uh, it is currently only with Shopify payments. So you can go ahead and enable or update the payment methods. So you are going to head over a payment method and use the Shopify payment. Basically, we are going to use the, uh, we can choose the provider and set up the Shopify thing. So we're going to try this and click on activate in here. So I'm going to see if this will work out. I'm going to refresh the page real quick and we are going to see the result. Normally it is going to uh, set up here. It is going to be later. I'm not going to do that but we are going to activate the embedded block or the widget of the app. It will take us to the uh, theme editor real quick and we are going to activate or set up the app store. As you can see, we have it right there. It is activated. We're going to click on save. The uh, saved uh, changes are made. We're going to exit that and the app is enabled. Now we are going to see the dashboard of this specific area. We have also the quick guide or the setup guide of the app. We can start by using or seeing here how to set the membership listing, how to enable the, um, the uh, membership portal, also how to manage the memberships, the membership checkout and etc. So you can set up the membership listing into your store to offer here the membership plan in your store. First step is to create a membership listing. So you can set up the listing from here by um, giving uh, your Shopify store a separate SKU. So you can go ahead and watch this specific video if you are interested by just clicking on here. It will take you to YouTube. I'm not interested in that, but we are going to head over the memberships and then we're going to show the membership or create them. I'm going to create a membership by heading over here and set up the order date. For example, the uh, main membership is going to be it manually so the uh, specific membership is going to be above or about a product basically if you are going to have your store 
you can have here a specific area so you are going to have them in here so for those who are going to search for memberships for uh, exclusive content for example or something like that it is not going to uh, be um, let's say adequate in shopify because basically it is going to be a store and we are going to sell something so you can go ahead and add some digital products in here or uh, some uh, specific content but you're going to have it here and just uh, for example like that i'm going to set up the membership so the uh, every two uh, for example the billing frequency is going to be every month so we are going to put here one month and then you are going to choose the currency for example of that uh, subscription the products that you are going to put on a subscription for example i'm going to put here for example the two products at least and then you can set up the unit price for the products and uh, finally you are going to set them up so i'm going to add this let's see here you can set up the unit price for it you can add for example the customer details and etc and this is going to be uh setting up the customers or setting up the memberships let's say manually and you can go ahead and set up everything from here and then you are going to add directly the customers from here now uh, if you are going to set up everything automatically you're going to head over here and set up the memberships with a specific sku code and that is going to be on the product so you are going to put a separate sku code for the products that you're going to put them on the membership now let's head over the enabling of the membership portal so we are going to embed that uh, real quick we are going to embed all of the apps in here so i'm going to have the memberships uh, so in here as you can see it is going to be right there so basically this is an example so you are going to have here the orders and also the shops and etc so i'm going to be back real quick in here so we are going to see the apps in here so we can add a here for example add to thank you or order status and then you are going to have it in here so you are going to choose where you are going to put this basically as you can see this is an example of a the membership created you can see the profile of the customers uh, sign up and also the settings of the specific area now uh, i'm going to leave in here so it is embedded uh, you can also embed uh, the um, uh, management of the button or the membership button from here so you can go ahead and click on the accounts and then you're going to add it to the menu so we are going to add it real quick and then you're going to set up the labels and the links and as you can see we're going to have it just like that so it is going to be added at the management in here so we have the management memberships now the last one is going to be the enable uh, of the membership checkout we are going to enable that and we are going to have it on the shopify store editor of course so you are going to add it uh, for example the membership button so we are going to have it in the orders or the profile you can go ahead and choose for example the alignment here we have the center for example we're going to put it here or to, uh, to the center and then we are going to have it just like this and we have successfully added the specific button now uh, the final one is going to be creating the membership plans so you're going to uh, set up that to the source so you can set up the plans and perks and as you can see you can say create a membership plan like we've had uh, used before so we are going to wait for that so it is going to be here for example the membership as you can see we have gold membership you can add whatever name for that membership you can set up the new uh, renewal cycle and display name like monthly membership for example uh, you can offer for example free trial or trial period or offer a discount for a membership uh, add specific tags for example that you can require specific tags or exclude specific tags you can add some additional questions and then you are going to save that specific plan and then you can go ahead and set up the perks so basically it is not going to be uh, that uh, hard to set up the memberships also the perks you can manage the memberships from here 
you can have here some tutorials and the app itself if you do not understand how you can set up things also you can set up the uh, settings for the general settings like the cancellation management dunning management and shop settings customization for the widgets and member portal labels portal settings portal css and email settings and uh, the uh, subscriber acquisition automations that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see you soon on the next one